this isn't working. No, no, no. Barry White's got a problem. We got nothing? He has four weeks to find a wreck. The clock's running. 10-3, anyone else? And restore it for auction. Three, three, three. But all he can find belongs to his only daughter. That's my car, Dad. Daddy's in trouble. 8600. How to make a buck. The Barry White way. Just rip that out of there. Find a wreck. That's exactly what we're looking for. You sleeping underneath there? <laughs> Get the right people. Jen, do something. What do you want me to do? That's the the right parts. Easy, 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 easy. And go to work. Bring it on. Then hope. It's flawless. Someone wants to buy it. Let your money bring you happiness. That's how you get from Rex to riches. Barry White is a hot rod superstar. At his speed shop in Corona, California, he's produced national prize winners and hundreds of custom builds for an elite clientele. But this is his biggest challenge. Restore a graveyard wreck to showroom condition in just four wow. weeks, put it up for auction, and hope he doesn't take a bath. This one's pretty clean, though. He got whacked in the back. Oh, yeah. Right, right in the center. Oh, that's unfortunate. Barry and his designer, it. Chris Brown, are praying they'll find the one, an old skeleton that can take a bit of muscle. The muscle car is, is the hot thing to have. We don't have yeah. time for this. Yeah, that's... They get attention. I mean, you know, now the, the 60s cars and the 50s cars are, are getting as expensive as the old street rods were a long time ago. I mean, if you got a, a 60s cars with a big engine in it, and I mean, it's just cool. Look how straight the body is. This thing's perfect, but not for sale. Yeah, well, they, they've got other cars here, too. Let's yeah. see what else we can find. All right. We've got an auction coming in four weeks where it's trying to find a car. Things just too far away. Yeah. Barry's plan is simple. Find a cheap wreck that's not too far gone. We're gonna sell it today. Bring it back from the dead. And now else? And sell it for a big profit. At 105, sold. It isn't going well. I'm trying to find something that'll work in the time frame. Wrong roof. It's got the formal roof light yeah. on it, though, yeah. It's got to be something that's maybe started or thereabouts has some things done to it, maybe stripped already or been taken apart so we don't have that disassembly process going on. No, Chris, this isn't working. No, no, no. We got nothing. Absolutely not working. Days to pay. Now's the time. Clock's running. The Cruise Auto Auction in Las Vegas is one of the biggest and richest. Barry needs to be there in just four weeks. Whatever it takes. Although there is one option, but it's way too close to home. This wreck is in Barry's own yard. We bought this for Jennifer as a project for her to drive actually to school for her senior year. She worked on it a lot at the beginning, and then towards the end, she got involved in college now and uh, she's got a boyfriend and, you know, it kind of evolved into uh, parked. How many dads can tell that story? The kid's summer project still sitting on first base, jamming up the backyard. Hmm. Now, Barry's daughter, Jen, is a feisty one. 
but she prefers a ride with only one horsepower. You know, people, they do stuff to get anti-stress. Horses are my anti-stress. If I ever had a bad day, get in a fight with somebody, get a bad grade on a test, just come to the barn and it's all better. Now make no mistake, Jen is the apple of her daddy's eye, and Barry wouldn't upset her. But Barry needs her car real bad. So he's just gonna take it. You think she's gonna be okay with that? Um, I, I hope so, shoot, maybe. Yeah, she's we'll awful see. attached to it, but well, she hasn't really done anything with it for what, year? three or four months now? Uh, it's or been even longer than that. that, it's been longer than that. So hopefully, <clears throat> should be okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the car's solid. We know what it is. We've already got, you know, some primer on it, so we know there's nothing hidden under there. That would get us out of the situation we're in yeah, time Yeah, because we don't have a whole lot of time to get this car ready for yeah. Vegas. But, yeah, let's, let's do it. Come and get it! Can meet while it's hot. This could be just another lunch in the speed shop one big happy family of car refurbishers. But Barry's trying to pick his moment to break the news to Jen. Jen, did you want soda or water? Jen. Yeah. Thank you. Hurry. Actually, you want some water? Yeah. Her reaction, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when she finds out that she's going to be losing her car. How about if we uh, use your Chevelle for uh, the car for Vegas? We're kind of in a bind, meaning a car. We haven't done anything with it in about a year, so what do you think about using the car? That's the only car you can find. The yeah, only car. We're, we can't find any right now. That's my car, Dad. I know it is. But... Fine. Use it. Okay. Use it. Okay. All right. You sure? We can, we can yeah, do this? it's fine. Use it. I don't care. Well, don't be mad. No, use it. I get over it sooner or later. And she'll, she'll, she'll be all right. All right, let's get this thing in there. A Chevy Chevelle ready for some muscle. And Barry's spendometer is still on a standing start. Jennifer's car has cost him not one cent. But that's about to change. Built from 64 through 73, the Chevelle was Chevy's tilt at the mid-size muscle car revolution that grabbed the 60s. The first model started with a 327 cubic inch engine, and then the monster 454, the most powerfully rated engine in muscle car history. Today, it's a collector's favorite. But can Barry build it on time? And that's about good right there. Countdown to the Vegas auction has begun. But to get this 69 Chevy Chevelle to look anything like these masterpieces is going to take a miracle. But the wizard waving the wand is Barry White. I'm thinking orange. Barry loves orange, and you know, I'm kind of partial to it too, so that just seemed like a good color for the car. Barry's the boss, but he needs Chris to come up with a design to draw in the big bucks. That's what we need up on stage when the lights are on and All right. get somebody excited about it. Yep, it's a good kind of grab okay. you and, yeah. and hold you kind of color. Yeah. yeah. It's also going to have kind of a kind of a nasty race car look too, because it's the wheels are going to be kind of a graphite color. Really have some pizzazz. We'll put a black stripe reminiscent of an old muscle car. It should look pretty aggressive. Now everyone's talking looks and color, but this old wreck is a long way from the paint shop. We got roughly five days to get the body done get all the sheet metal done and get it in paint. 
I need a bunch of parts for a 69 Chevelle. Can you help me out? Hey, I want to see if you could uh, hook me up with a set of tires. Hey, I need a transmission. I need some gauges. We need a motor, and I need a console, too. What this dude really needs is a totally new car. Barry will be on my case to get the, get the parts here, and uh, I'm sure I'll be held accountable if something doesn't show it up. We got a long way to go in a short period of time, so it, it's going to be interesting. But parts thing is the, is the most important thing. It's going to be a little hectic, but uh, you know, it's all part of the job. But on this job, nobody's planned on a family fight. Barry's daughter's angry she'll be driving a minivan instead of her Chevelle. It's my car, and I really don't appreciate that he just, you know, used it without, you know, me knowing. She's a spoiled brat. She's an only child. She gets pretty much anything she wants. But she's a good kid. All in all, she's a great kid. He'll never live it down, ever. Barry's got no time for a family feud. He's got a week to get this shell painted, a week to replace the interior, a week to install the running gear, and a fourth week to tune it all up. We're going to put a big block in it and a 400 trans, do all the suspension over, put all the right bushings and shocks and components in it. Try to do kind of like an old muscle car, but a, a modern version, something that's, that's fun to drive, uh, that'll go around a corner. Chris has booked a paint shop just down the road. We're really moving now. <laughs> I feel like the Pope. <laughs> it's a lucky break, because this baby ain't driving anywhere, especially without a front end. But waiting at the paint shop, new front fenders. But what kind of top coat is this? What we did after we got our two good coats of primer on it, we took some red over there and uh, sprayed a light little mist coat over it, which they call a guide coat. And what that does is when you start blocking with the long block, the red paint won't get sanded away. And it, it really makes it a lot easier to see where your highs and lows are. If the sanding is not perfect, the paint job will have blemishes. And that would cost Barry big bucks on the auction floor. I got to get that paint right away. We're going to be painting the car tomorrow, and uh, I don't have any paint yet. I don't know where it is or if we have to pick it up somewhere or whatever. Whatever Chris did in a previous life is coming back to haunt him. Just got a stainless piece of it. Yeah. Well, we need to do it every 10 minutes so that it understands that we need this paint. If he's not going to get back to us, and we're just going to go buy the paint. This, this needs to get handled, man. We should have been on this paint thing Monday. We knew we were painting this week. He told me he was sending paint. I mean, I gave him the paint order, and he said, um, I'll send you the paint. I said, I need it for this week. Well, these guys have been busting to get this thing done. we got to have paint. I don't have time for this. I'll give him a call. We're in the 11th hour here, and we got to have it. The Chevelle's first speed bump, and it's a big one. No paint. Barry's tight schedule just got tighter. I don't know why the paint's not sitting here waiting for us. We don't have time to be fooling around. Everybody else is getting everything here on time, and I don't understand why it's not here. trying to get a Chevelle project done, and, and uh, I'm running out of time here because we've got to have all the paint. While Chris chases paint, Barry works on the panel gaps, adding value to the Chevelle. 
the gap fit and everything would be way better than it was in 69. You couldn't have bought a car in 69 that was gapped as good as this one will be. Get these shims to stay in. Barry's been daughter free since stealing her car. Now she's back with attitude. Your gap in the bottom doesn't line up. You know what? <laughs> Go get a shirt <laughs> and get your out here and help me. It's tough being the boss. You got to keep your workers on the job. And you got to keep up morale. Because there's a lot of late nights when you work for Barry White. But keeping everyone happy is not so hard. It hasn't been going sideways. When there are plenty of hot rods to play with. Spin them! Hey, go! The crew can blow off steam with the shop dragster. Yeah, I need a bunch of ultra orange. Everyone's having a good time, except for one guy. I'm going to have all the body work done on my end. Think you can help me out? Chris really needs a break. But the next day, the Chevy buys him some time. A front fender doesn't line up with a door. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, if you look at him, that yeah. one's like this, that's and just, this one's straight. That's just bent. There's no telling whether it's the car or the fender. Piece of cake. <laughs> the door has already been lined up with the rocker panel, so if we push the door in, then we got to start all over on the other part. So we're already gone to this point, so we need to now just go ahead and get the fender to work with the door. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, you're lined up now. Easy. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something else to beat that out. The body work's done. It's ready for paint, if Chris can deliver. They just got their shipment in. They got six quarts. Okay. Yes. So that means they have nine all together. How many do you want me to have them set aside? What all, all nine quarts. All, yeah, absolutely. Tell Brian to make sure they're up. Right. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Every surface will get three coats of paint. Barry's spendometer is hitting two grand. Then there's three coats of clear. Total, four grand. One ultra orange pearl Chevelle, ready for inspection. But not everyone's impressed. <laughs> Thank you. You don't like it? You like it's the peach green. better? It's not green. She wanted a yeah, green. she liked uh, the green. There's only two things you should have green, your money and your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks pretty good. It's just got a little bit of sanding to do. I mean, we'll, we'll cut it down right now with 1,200 grit, and we'll go with some 15, then some 2,000 grit, and then we'll start buffing it. This meticulous process of cutting back the clear layers creates a flawless finish. Less than three weeks to showtime, and the spendometer is revving. Two and a half grand on body preparation, four grand on paint, and the big bucks are still to come. Parts. Excellent. Barry uses only the best. There you go, Tim. Let's start a chain, boys. He may be muscling up an old car, but he wants it to run like there you new. Go. Everyone. But all this could send the spendometer into the red zone. We got a lot of stuff. 
pretty much all the pieces, parts, including some of the suspension parts, to put the whole car together. Boxes and boxes. Check that out. Oh, we got a grill. Excellent. The whole idea behind this is the, the super muscle car theme is new technology and the old cars. Make them better than they even were when they were muscle cars. Auto technology has come a long way in 40 years, and Barry wants it in his Chevelle. If you drove a 69 car today, you'd realize how bad they really were compared to today's standards. So what we're trying to do is bring the, the level of handling, ride, and all that, the performance part of it, up to today. And that's the whole idea behind taking the old car and making it a new car again. So it's a super muscle car. For super handling, Barry opts for adjustable shocks all the way around. The owner can go from just regular street driving, some canyon carving, things like that, or go to the drag strip with it also, or, or some road racing autocross and all that type of stuff. Very, very versatile. Mm -hmm. Just take a scraper and scrape this. Not up. everything's Both brand sides. new. Okay. So some okay. original mounts yeah, and trims are brought back to life. It kind of just makes you feel good to put the original parts back on it sometimes, instead of replacing everything. Give you a little satisfaction to clean up something that's been on there for 30 years or so. There we go. Everyone's pitching in. Even Jen has come around. What? List. It's listing. Passenger what do you want side me to door. List? Okay. We need, we need glass. Hey. <laughs> we need the glass too for the passenger side. We got driver. We need She's agreed to help work on the car. You know, even though it'll be probably a little bit emotional for her because she still sees it as her car knowing that it's going to be sold at the end of the project. Well, if you want the door intact, then it comes with the glass. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Is this going to work? Would you stop flipping the pages? Can I write? But having her working on the car with us is fun. She's growing up around when I started out in the garage, so she's always helped run parts and, you know, done stuff, helped hold stuff when we needed another pair of hands and stuff, so she's always been a help. Stop. <laughs> the team has just one week to rebuild this car, install every part from the ground up. You got to ream these holes out big enough to put these plastic push in doodads in. Technical name, it's a doodad. A doodad. There, my fingers are prettier than yours. Fine. I have to pee. You know what? You're just getting started. I have to pee. Sorry. It's like doing the dishes. You always have to pee when you got to do the dishes. Maybe things were better when these two were not talking. What are you doing now? I'm union. I'm watching. Jen, do something. What do you want me to do? Help them. Get on one side, hold the thing up or something. Come on. <sighs> Less than two weeks to auction and a thousand parts to install. Look what's just arrived. That's gorgeous, isn't it? The muscle. That is cool. It's awesome. Probably about seven grand sitting there. Yeah. Very, very nice. I'm impressed. Serious money. And there's a lot more to spend. Start, we're gonna start letting it down here pretty quick. Here. The Chevy Chevelle is starting to look like a car. And soon, it's gonna sound like one. It's the heart. Yeah, this is great. Fantastic. A 489 big block Chevy. Need to tip it harder? 510 horsepower at the end of the pedal. Is that bad or what? Bring it on. That's gorgeous. That's good, huh? Yeah. Awesome. And Tim's hoses. Tim got hose? Yeah. Excellent. Upper. Upper hose. Goes in there. Look at that. That's awesome. Gorgeous. Now we're getting there, huh? What do you guys want to tackle first? It's your call. To fit a brand new interior, 
Barry's called in some specialists. All the big stuff, engine, transmission, exhaust, rear end, pretty much gets done pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Excellent, you're the man. Usually the smallest things are always the ones that take the longest. You gotta find some parts get lost, some parts get reintroduced. So you gotta work with the old stuff, make it work. The rear seat will stay, refurbished and recovered in black leather. Front seats are new. Getting the Chevelle comfortable costs $4,000. Those shiny black seats are bringing back memories. Plus, so you might need extra room back there. Yeah. yeah. For what? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? 60 style. <laughs> Summer 69 right here. <laughs> Cost so far for this half-built Chevy Chevelle, $18,000. Barry's gonna need some big spenders at Vegas. Like Barry, his team are perfectionists. They wanna build the best Chevelle money can buy. The Chevy's previous owner is back on the job, but still testing her dad. This, this is impossible. Don't say you can't do it. I'm not saying I, I can't. It's just the situation. Can't do it. Now that my hand oh. is smashed. You got to take a rag or something to get that out of there. I am, Dad. I have a rag right here with locker thinner on it, and I'm getting it out right now. I think this is totally uh, You know, I have a little bit of a solution here you might want to consider trying. What's that? Take a piece of this clear plastic, get it wet, yeah, and then stick it to the window. Oh, Don't sure. get it like saturated wet. Yeah. And then when you're painting, it'll get on the plastic and just, well, you just throw it away. Excellent. Fantastic. You're the man. Not a problem. I try. Thanks, Garrett. Hot Jen. Yeah. Thanks, Garrett. You're welcome, Jen. Well, Garrett's in Barry's good books. Which means someone else is not. What do we got left? Seat tracks? One seat track. That's all we need. We got one. We just need the second one. You got one side of one seat? No, we got there's one. A pair, there's one seat track on each side of the seat. I know, but we have one seat with seat tracks. See, look at there. Okay. See the seat tracks on the deck of the seat? There's two, two on each seat. There's Is two it? on one seat and none on the other seat. That's what my point was. Do you need two or do you need one? Yeah, if you can overnight it, that's fine too. Getting those mirrors to us. A failure to communicate. Thank you. Thank you. That's a no win deal for him. I mean, he's going to get his shoes one way or another. These two may as well be father and okay. son. You got to have a thick skin. I mean, you're going to get thrown under the bus once in a while. It's, after a while, you kind of get used to that part. Cool. Just five days to showtime. You want to be the song today? This is Barry's prize. Passo! The Cruise Auto Auction in Las Vegas. Give 110. Big prestige. Bigger money. The greatest automotive creations ever built. To draw in the big bidders, Barry's building a Chevelle better than the original. Hidden behind the dash are 21st century comforts. We got new face plates, we'll put all the new stuff on here. It's hooked up, all the cables, micro switches and everything, so all works, turns everything on and off. The cable actually runs a micro switch, so it's all electronically controlled, but the cable actua actuates the micro switches, so you've got the old technology, which was from the 69 car, and integrated it into the 2005 technology of the air conditioning, so pretty cool deal. The spendometer is screaming. 25,000 and climbing. Everything that they pretty much put on this car was what I wanted to put in originally, so. I mean, it's, it's turning out to be a really nice car, and I'm sure whoever buys it at the auction will 
you know, enjoy it as much as I was going to. Pump's on. It's on. Pump's running. Ready? There you go. First time, every time. That's the Barry White motto. Excellent. With the auction just days away, I would say so, looks yeah. like yeah. they're gonna make it. Not bad for the first fire. Yes. The two of you doing it, it'll probably be crooked. That's what we're aiming for. Ready? Catch. Chevelles tend to be a, a fairly thick car. And when it was just all orange, it looked very massive. And I think now that it's got this stripe on it, it really makes it look sleeker. We're keeping with a strict muscle car look, but we're giving it our version of a muscle car. A 69 Chevelle is reborn. Total cost. $30,000. A super muscle car to us basically is taking the generic car and turning it into a better muscle car than they would have made at the time when they were doing muscle cars in the 60s and 70s. Instead of just having an old carburetor, you know, on a big motor, the cars have air conditioning, heating, you know, nice stereos and nice suspension. It's a great car. You get in and go anywhere. Back in the day, these things were just straight line performers. And nowadays, I mean, this thing's gonna take the corners with the best of them. So it's all around a great little sports car kind of almost now. You can go through one trend and then 30 years later, you can start another trend with it. You know, they're timeless. That's the best part about these cars. They never grow old. I'm very happy with the way this car is coming out. All the stuff these guys have been doing in the past, you know, month, I'm just amazed that it looks this good. We always put our best foot forward on all these projects, but to do it in this short of a timeline, the car is amazing. After four weeks of arguments and hard work, all right. Time for some loving. We got it done. You helped work on it. We took your car. Take it for a drive. Okay. Don't bend it. I'm not going to bend it. If you I'm... bend it, I'll kill you. Okay. Now, which makes Barry more proud, car or daughter? The two together is as good as it gets. horsepower and retro looks to stop traffic. This is one sweet machine. I've never thought I would ever be able to drive it. Like seriously, it sat like in, as the green monster in primer for the longest time. It's actually a, a really, really, really nice car. And you know, whoever buys it at the auction is a really, really lucky person. Jen's debut drive could bring tears to Barry's eyes. Except when the Chevelle is parked up for loading. Drove the car up here. That's right. And it started a second ago. It won't start again. We're spinning. It's got no signal. Something snapped. There's something electronically wrong. Disaster. The Chevelle needs to be in Vegas on the auctioneer's block in 24 hours. It's got power there. There's no spark when I was cranking it, right? I didn't look. Oh, Go ahead. It can't have it. Nope. 
If Barry's blaming his daughter, he's not saying. He just needs it fixed. Now, it's up to the module to fire. Let's pull the cap off and mark the wires. It's got to be that. All hopes are on a new ignition module. You got to ground the case. Yeah, hang on a minute. We mounted the coil on the firewall. Apparently didn't have a good enough ground from the body to the frame to the engine to the battery. So what happened was when we hit the throttle, somehow or another it must have moved, broke that ground, and the only thing that'll kill the module is a loss of ground and a loss of ground and smacked the module, just spiked it and blew it up. The Chevelle is going to Vegas. I think it's really going to do well in Vegas. It's just a Chevelle. I think the crowd's really going to love this car. But at an auto auction, anything can happen. 10, 10, 2 and a half, here it goes. 10, now 2 down, 10, 2, 2. 10, 3, 10, 2, now 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3. Sir, you're bidding or scratching, you're making me nervous. Anyone else? This is where a hot rod builder must stand and be judged. Hundreds of masterpieces, all competing for buyers at the Cruise Auto Auction. 87 and a half, 85 and a half, 87 and a half. The cars are selling. There's money in the air. It ought to be 30 or 35,000. The Chevelle's up next. It's a, it's a gamble. We're in Las Vegas. You never know what's going to happen. You never know if we're going to come up or not. Hopefully, it'll go up good. Let's see what happens. It's getting close. It's showtime. On center stage, the Chevelle is ready for the buyer's inspection. The sharks are circling. The workmanship is second to none. It's got every detail done, and it's it's flawless. A hundred and a quarter. It's unbelievable. Everything looks like it's unbelievable. Like there is no words. One of the greatest automotive creations ever built. Right Could they here, possibly right know here. what it took to get the Chevelle here? They started with a stripped-down shell, stolen from Barry's daughter. You sure? We can, we can yeah, do it's fine. Use it. I don't care. Well, don't be mad. No. They had trouble finding the right paint. This needs to get handled, man. Should have been on this paint thing Monday. They sourced hundreds of new components. New technology in the old cars. Make them better than they even were when they were muscle cars. Turning a wreck into a 21st century super muscle car. I like one that has modern underpinnings and it's a driver. Uh, one of my favorite cars here. I'm a hot rod guy. Four weeks of arguments and hard labor. What's that gonna do? It's gonna it's break gonna off. Thing. Now I gotta go build something for it. And 30,000 of Barry's hard earned dollars. I'm gonna bet on it, yes. <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> Will he ever get them back? I mean, it's incredible. It's, it'll break tons of money as far as I'm concerned. This guy will be the limit. Let your money bring you happiness and buy this car. This car the moment will go of truth. in value every day you own it. How much is started? 20. 23, 24. 
I got 23 down. Everybody got 24,000. Anybody else? I got 23 down. Everybody got 24,000. I got 24. Got it. Now five. I got 24. Everybody got five, six. I got 25, six, seven. I got 27, five. Bo, you're up there. Everybody got 30, 30, 30. Give me 30. Give me 30. Give me 28, 30. Now 31, 34. Excellent. And now 35. Hit 34, 35, 36, 37, 37, 38, 38. 38, 38, 38. Oh, now he's in the money. Even to get 47, now 48. 48, now 49. The 49, guy in the car shirt is renowned collector Ardell Brown. 51. A good development. Ardell once paid fifty-six thousand for a Barry White Camaro. Now two. I got fifty-two. Now three. Fifty-three. Now four. Eighty bit to fifty-four. Now five. Eighty bit to fifty-four. Give me fifty-five. Ardell, give me fifty-five. And now fifty-six thousand. Eighty bit to fifty-five. Give me fifty-six. I got it now. Fifty-seven. Ardell, you almost owned it. Ardell. Eighty bit to fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Now fifty-eight thousand. Fifty-eight thousand to you. Fifty-seven. Five. I never thought of that. And now 58 Ardell. Yes, and now 58 five. What's another $500? Five hundred dollars? Five hundred dollars. Now 59 Ardell. 58 five. Give me 59. 58 five. Give me 59. And crazy Ardell. Sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> Mr. Salt Lake City, 60 now, one. I got 60, give me one. Anybody else? 61,000. One more time. 61. So, thank you, Del Brown. Salt Lake City, Utah. R. Del Brown, so. Awesome. Awesome. Everyone. That's it. It's on me tonight. <laughs> and that's how you get from Rex to Riches. Look at that smile. It was great. I'm glad he got it. I'm glad it's going to a good home. I'm glad to see it go to somebody who really appreciates what it is. From the entire team. Thank you, Arden. Every time I get to design one of these cars and it becomes a reality, it's you know, it's it's like seeing a kid grow up. You know, I mean, it's it's an awesome experience. Well, I like all cars, but muscle cars are just fun, you know, to listen to them and to drive them. And if you're going to do any buying and sell them, that's where the, the strong part of the market's at right now. Everybody's smiling, <laughs> even the Chevelle's previous owner. Extremely proud of everyone who worked on the car and everyone who put, you know, an effort into it. It was awesome. Yeah, Jennifer's learned a valuable lesson. Don't ever lend your car to dad. And when they get back to California, Jen gets to share in the spoils. What is that? It's your new car. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. We replaced it. <laughs> what do you think? Is that cool? Thank you. I got you one that runs this time. Thank you. It's a lot of work, but you know how to do it. Yeah, no, right? I don't know. I think it's about mom.